Good morning, guys. My name is Norega Reginald, and I'm I'm not gonna take a lot of your time because you know I know we don't have a lot of time, so I'm gonna go straight to it. Yeah. Um, my sincere and utmost gratitude and appreciation to all media houses and stakeholders for gracing us with your presence today. The reason for this press briefing today is to do an official statement on the press release through an Instagram post by my big brother, artist and Kenyan superstar Otile Brown, dated 6th June 2023. I must first start by saying it's very crystal evident that all good things must come to an end. It is official that my time working with my brother Otile Brown as his management, notably his business manager, has finally come to an end after six solid years of a remarkable era of collaboration and partnership. To echo his words, I'm super, super grateful for the journey, the memories and the success. We've shared so many great memories together, traversed the whole world together on a business capacity, through our Middle East tours, Australian tour, Baby Love Europe tour, the UK and United States of America tour. We have also achieved immense business success as a brand and also on a personal capacity. And for that, I'm very grateful. I want to thank Otile Brown for being such a great artist, a business partner, and most importantly, a friend. I do not see a well better decorated artist, a true icon, a musical genius, and a legend in the making. To Otile Brown's official team, DJ Osama, Calvin's Photography, Tony Arms, the Dynamic Band, all in-house producers under the guidance of the Haji Medit, social media team under Kulha and Derek, the legal team led by Mr. Kibiru, the technical team. It's been an absolute pleasure and honor working alongside you all. Your dedication to the brand is unmatched and unprofound. Best of luck with the new management. Last but not least, I want to thank most importantly the fans, the supporters of the brand, media houses, all business entities, all corporate partners, brands, fellow artists, and prom promoters across the world for amazing business relations we enjoyed during my tenure as a Telegrams management. We couldn't have accomplished what we did without you. Salute. Maria Gatonso, CEO and founder, RKC Cartel. Thank you. Now I'd like to invite the press for any questions. Hi, uh, good morning, Maria. Morning to you, my guy. Uh, of course, we've been doing, uh, we saw the post so yeah. a few now, and you as well have confirmed that you guys have passed away. Maybe for clarification, you might tell us why it happened, it is that uh, the end of your contract came, or what happened? Um, what I'd like to say is, uh, uh, of course, you know, our contract period, you know, ended um, in March, around March, yeah? So, um, I feel like, you know, like I said, you know, everything, every good thing must come to an end. I feel like this is where we're supposed to part ways. Yeah. Has it affected your relationship with him as a family? No, not really. There's no problem between me and the team. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, would you expect to see maybe supporting you maybe during the events and your people? In, in what capacity exactly? Yeah, There's no support. Right. Support is, is wide. Mm -hmm. We say like when it comes to events, we are not going to be exactly. Okay, maybe at the event, we expect to see you through their support to work, attend, maybe? Of course, you know, in terms of support, now it's going to be like in different capacities. When he has events, am I free? What's that? Will I have that time to you know go? Because you know at the end of the day, you know, I'm a businessman. I have, like you see, I have you know a, a, a record label, the RTC Cartel, which you know uh, we're going to be launching very soon. And I want to focus on you know building the brand. So in terms of that kind of support. There's a lot that's going to be dependent on that, but there's no issue. 
I thought it was a good event and we have time, we can definitely come and support. Okay, you mentioned about having a record. Yeah. Do you have the artists that you've already identified that you're going to work with or your guests? So currently the RKC cartel with the level has um, two artists. One, um, I think if you follow my work, one is called Lexin, yeah? He's a very good artist, young, fresh talent. And then um, the other artist, I, I'm not going to say the name, but she's she's based in the US. She's a, she's a really great talent. When we do the launch in the next coming few months, which I believe we're going to extend an invitation to, to you guys. Then we can talk more about, you know, the artist. But for now, we have Lexin and, you know, we have a new song called Don't Give Up, featured Jovian. Kindly go and support. Yeah. Okay, I'm talking about the record with the label, you know, Hachi. Uh, we have a few of them that are doing well. Yeah. Uh, most of the time, uh, we have seen the record label come and go and put the videos so well. Um, when, when, um, I, I'll start by saying, yeah, the reason why most record levels, I feel like they don't really do well or they don't like um, stay for long uh, is because um, there's a lot that goes into the music business, yeah? As you can see, I, uh, I have at least seven, eight years of experience in the music business, right? That means I've been learning a lot. You know, I've been working on you know, just understanding the business. Most people don't understand the music is actually business. People just feel like, oh, I need to sign an artist, and then I just need to push him, and then that's it. For me, I took seven good years to start my first you know, record level because it's always a learning lesson. You have to learn, you have to better yourself, you have to understand the craft, you have to understand the music, you have to understand what music sells, you have to understand what um, strategies to implement. There's a lot There's a lot in regards to marketing. So there's a lot that people don't really understand. Most people are just businessmen, they just have money. Like, I want to support artists. Let me put, you know, uh, let me start a record label. But then they forget is the business part. You have to understand the business before you even start to you know, start a record level. And that's why for me it took it took me at least let's say seven good years to get here. And I'll tell you for a fact, RKC is well capable as a fully fledged record level. It's only a matter of time because you know they say good things take time. I believe in the next you know few months, days, years you guys will see the results. Okay, let me tell us how would you describe uh, the journey with Godzilla Brown in the eight uh, and six good years of working together? How would you describe it? It's been a it's been a crazy journey. Roller coaster, you know, there's always ups and down, there's good times, there's bad times, there's you know ugly times. But um the good thing is, you know, when you have a proper understanding, you know, with the, uh, as management with the artists that you're working with. It becomes really, really easier to maneuver. So, what I uh, um, I like to say is, um, it's been a great, great journey. Um, my heart is actually content. You understand the fact the fact that we part ways at this point has my heart at peace because you know we've done so much together. I believe you know um, what we've done. Can you know really speak you know on itself? So yeah, I'll, I'll just say it's a beautiful journey. Yeah. Today, um, the government is set to launch Talanta Ever, yeah. and uh, as a as a record holder, yeah. and uh, uh, someone who has experience in music, you think the government is giving input enough to tell the vision? The government is not really doing uh, much when it comes to supporting. The music business and artistry um, and there's a lot um, if let's say if we can even go back to last year we had um, what's it called the Nairobi festival yeah this is a 
an establishment and an, and a, and an entity by the, the county government. You understand? A lot of artists and things today have not even gotten paid. You understand? And this is the government. Artists came, you know, they put in their work, they did right by the, you know, the, the government and the contracts. But till today, I can tell you, I know a lot of artists who didn't even get paid. You understand? There is, I feel like there's so much the government could be doing when it comes to the, you know, supporting the music. There is a lot, but um, that's a discussion for another day. So we need to go to the ground and the ground to the ground and the ground to the ground. So we need to go to the ground and the ground to the ground. So we need to go to the ground and the ground to the ground. So we need to go to the ground. To the ground, um, one thing the government has said, I don't think there's an artist who's sorry, I'm not even excited to see you. So really, kigumu kidogo ila I'm gonna try. Nguvu moja ni tasema ni nzuri zaidi ya Chile Brown. Ni he's a very focused, you know, artist. He is an artist. Anaji elewa. You understand? He knows what he wants, and you know he knows um, what you know he brings to the table. And also, the good thing about him is that he doesn't compromise. You know, because he's only familiar with that Samarani. Yeah, so I, I, I'd say, yeah, yeah, he, he's a very, you know, focused person. He knows what he wants and he's on top of things, 100%. With the launch of the new music level, what are the visions and goals of this? So uh, our, 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 our main agenda is to, you know, um, uplift talents. This is what happened, yeah? A lot of people don't know. When I tell you, for me, I'm a product of you know, experience in the industry. Yeah? That means I learned to do the business on the job. You understand? I was not going. To, I, I didn't go to school to become a manager. You understand? I didn't. I didn't go to like the university and say, "Hey, I want to you know become you know to learn music management." No, I had to learn on the job. But what this ha what happened is, Otilio you know, gave me. He believed in me, and he gave me an opportunity. So that's the same same thing we're extending to you know to new upcoming talents. We're creating a record level to give an opportunity that can change you know other artists you know uh, lives and proud you know most importantly their families because you know when you build an artist they can be able to impact you know Jami and also their families. So for us our main goal is to create you know opportunities to new and, and upcoming talent so that they can you know. Um, support you know future generations and the families. Okay, how how do you plan to support the upcoming artists? Are there are you specific on different genres that you're going to focus on? Um, with my understanding of the business, yeah, and the experience I've had for a while, I'm very particular with the kind of sound that I'm looking for, yeah. And with time, I believe um, the fans and everybody else will see the kind of talent that we're looking for. for. I'm very, very specific when it comes to the sound. For me, I'm looking for a sound. It's not about just talent. Anybody can sing, you understand? Anybody can go to the studio and do what they can do, but I'm looking for a very specific sound. And with time, when we keep you know, putting out the music, then people will realize um, the kind of sound that we're looking for. Uh, uh, that's, that's a tricky question because now I'm not really supposed to be speaking on any anything but in the Brown's business. Mm -hmm. So I, I don't think I can be able to answer that question for now. Yeah. Uh Brown, you're my big brother. I love you so much. And I wish you the very best um, you know, in, a, in a new journey. You can meet him. God bless you. And I'm always a phone call away in case you need me. So, uh, yeah. So, uh, we see uh, before, before
before before you open your label, yeah. uh, we understand that uh, let's say I uh, was previously signed under uh, one Portuguese label, yeah, yeah. and logo of Kasana, I think we ended up with the Ashumu. Yeah, yeah. Or uh, what is it with let's say that you feel that that, that uh, when you know me to go, is it Otile who are signing me Portuguese label or is it Noriega who are signing? No, but if it's Otile's label, I cannot really be the one to sign him on Otile's label. So it's actually Otile Brown who signed Lexi under Just In Love Music. Yeah, and you know, for one reason or another, you know, I'm not just in love. I, I was Otile Brown's manager, but Otile Brown owns a record label, Just In Love Music. I was not part of Just In Love. And you know, for one reason or another, the working arrangement didn't really work. But um, to, to, to answer your question, you know, Lexin is a very, very talented artist. He has um, uh, a natural gift you know, when it comes to music. And also, he knows what he wants to. And he's, he, he has so much passion for music. He, Lexin, you know, I feel like um, I'm just um, grateful you know, to, to, be, to be able to find um, talent. You see, when it comes to Otilio, Otilio knows what he wants to, yeah? So uh, when you find somebody who understands what they want, and you as a businessman and a man management, you know what you want, it's easy for you guys to work together. So it's the same, same thing. Lexi also knows what he wants. He's very patient, he believes in himself, and, and you know, he listens also. I like, you know, I like the fact that you know, he listens. I told him, this what happened. Lexi used to pester me a lot for almost a year. I want to work with you. I want to work with you as my manager. And I'll keep telling you, I'm not ready to, 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 you know, to take another artist yet. I'm not in a position where I feel like I can build you to the best of my ability. But he, you know what he told me? I'm, I'm going to still keep working, yeah? I'm going to still keep working until you feel like you're ready to work with me. Then we can see them and work together. So he's somebody who believes in me, and I believe in him too. And I'm excited, you know, for what, you know, what lies ahead. Yeah, so another question concerning uh, Lexil. Yeah. First, maybe someone who doesn't know Lexil, guys, Lexil, are you go for for your mates after? That's true. Just to clarify that, you know, you know, the other people are saying, you know, you know, like when I watch, I say, you know, Lexil, are you mad? I understand. Maybe I can introduce you to um, the gentleman sitting on my left. Yeah, he's called Ansbert. Um, he's a he's actually uh, in the finance department in the company. Yeah. Okay. So another question, which is uh, I feel is very important concerning Lexil. Yeah. Uh, now we've seen Lexil is big. Like there's a time he's been ranked uh, one of the most watched on uh, the other platform, uh, Spotify. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But uh, it's rare to see him perform like locally in Kenya. Yeah. We haven't seen him. He's not being booked uh, in gigs. And the gigs he has done, uh, maybe mostly in the Inchi. We was being tagged along uh, there, yeah. who you used to manage. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, what can we say uh, our case is going to do to make sure that uh, let's see, uh, Patamadi, because most people are doing let's see, until maybe Jovio, Apanikitu, uh, Naeyama, Ochile, you see, people yeah. don't know let's see, but he's big, he has talent, as you said, in Afghanistan. Yeah, yeah. He has done projects with even. Uh, so what is it that uh, you as a manager is going to do to add more value to this artist for sitting and better to your friend that will give you let's see nice nice that's a very good question yeah thanks to me thank you um to answer your question yeah what you're doing right now you know we signed lexel um end of last year yeah when i was in the u.s and um, currently, the plan is, you know, to build his brand. You understand? Nexel cannot go do a show locally because he's not big yet. His brand is not to that level where you can say, "Hey, let, let him, you know, do a show here." You understand? So what we're, what we're working on is, you know, we have plans, we have strategy to build, to focus and build on his brand, so that he can become, you know, um, you know, a national, you know, household name also. Yeah. And, and to also, you know, like I said, you know, his sound, um, like you said, is more international. You know, he has, you know, the biggest, you know, song in Spotify, yeah? Uh, like, I believe, Kenyan artist. So, 
a plan is also he's big you know his his soul crosses over international ease yeah but you see them not in, in, in the Kenyan market yeah the song is, is not even that big yeah so we as a as a record label we understand we need to put in work to build his brand at home fast he has to become a big brand in Kenya even before you know he you know he gets to, to the to the international platforms so the plan is there we're going to work on that and I know for a fact in the next couple of years yeah. another question yeah. uh, so another question. Yeah. Uh, the, your, your, your artist just released a song which is doing very well, featuring Jojo. And uh, let me let me talk about the video. The video is kind of controversial because yeah. it features one uh, Baha. Yeah. 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 There's yeah. been a debate. Uh, you guys were chasing cloud with Baha uh, for the video. So as part of the team that uh, funded the video what was the happening like we want a story cloud or not yeah 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 cloud or not what do you think what do you guys think was it cloud or not but did you you got cloud or not i think i'll just say um that's a case of you know opportunity needs preparation yeah because what happened is you know um, we had worked on the video prior yeah so we showed the video we thing is we wanted to bring out a really nice storyline and who better to go to than you know our you know Baha you know he's a great talent when it comes to acting so we we had planned you know, to um we shot the video before you know the whole drama you know the mass judy coming out and saying da 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 you understand but um the, you know you shoot a video you have a release schedule right the release schedule was in that same same week right before you know the drama happened and that's why you see he still shared so what people don't understand is we were not chasing clouds that's the truth uh, for me, in I, I mean, I understand what cloud cloud means for the business. I know the artists who, before they release some music, they have to do you know cloud. They have to create some form of you know kiki. But you know, with the level of talent that I've worked with, we never really had to do that. It was never really our focus. So even with the with the new talent that I'm going to be working with, it's it's going to be if it's cloud, it's going to be like a very very strategic sort of cloud. It's not going to be just like any other, any other cloud. So that's just a case of, you know, we had a video, it was ready, you know, it happened, the release day coincided you know, with the same same time, and we just released the song. So, yeah, i sure. Yeah. Uh, lately, we've seen so many talents being posted on the uh, Gossip and other platforms. Yeah. What one and the Asana, how these are talents, which could be way, people should do something about those talents. And so far, we haven't seen any anybody coming out to support those talents, what Kakin and Gersh, Rex, yeah. and the ETC. So you as a label, are you in a position to give maybe one or two of them an opportunity to showcase uh, what they do? Yeah, the reason why we started the record label is basically to do that, to do that yeah? To support, you know, new and coming talents, yeah? Um, but, you see, uh, it's, a fully, it's a full record level. I'm just the face, you understand? I'm the founder but there's a team yeah and the, the reason we're ready to support any talent yeah so long as you have the same same vision that we have and you're ready to work we're definitely more than happy to you support talent yeah because we believe in talent talent is what got us here and we have to keep supporting talent on behalf of Kido, he's asking how much did you pay Baha? Or, or <laughs> <laughs> we paid him a lot of cash. I'm not gonna lie, we paid him like a lot. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Noriega, I want to say congratulations. You've done a you've done much in the industry. You've been part uh, the industry, you've brought the industry in New Zealand. Thank you very much. Uh, of course, sometimes we differ on how you guys run your things. Sometimes you guys do keep you feel like you guys have much potential to do much respect much for you guys. 
Now, my question is very simple. Uh, one, through your journey working with Putin for the last six years, I don't know what is your reward. She has given you maybe an appreciation in terms of money, in terms of gift, in terms of house. Yeah. You've done much, a lot. Uh, second, uh, uh, my second question was uh, now uh, moving forward. What is the relationship with you with Otilia? Is it in terms of business consultation? Are you still hanging out together? Or what is the change? All right. Thank you very much for the for the warm words, Kido. Yeah, I appreciate. Um, first question is what 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 the gift, the gift I got? Yes. Then what? Then what did you got? For example. Ah, nice. That's a very good question. I feel like you know people look at gifts, you know, in you know, in different capacities. Yeah, the people who want material, you know, material gifts, and the people who um, appreciate. See, somebody like me, I, I I feel like the greatest you know gift that he ever gave me was an opportunity. You understand? He believed in me, you know, at a time where. Uh, you know, it was crucial, you know, it was a crucial point, you know, of his career. But he, you know, he gave me an opportunity. And for that, you know, I'm forever grateful. For me, it's never about material things, yeah? I know a lot of people want to, you know... There's more to, you know, gifting and blessings than, you know, just the material stuff. And then also, I don't I don't feel like it's right for me to... He's gifted me on my birthday. We were coming from London. He got me a gift, and I really, really appreciate it. Yeah. So I'm not the kind of a person who's going to come out and say, uh, I don't know. As a gentleman, I don't feel like it's really right. But he's done so much for me, and I really appreciate. It. To answer your second question, um, we're, we're in a good place. We're in a good place. There's no issue. The only thing you're not doing is you're not doing business together. But the reason why I ask that is that because much you've done a lot with Otilia, so now we'll fight because I believe Otilia will be earning from Otilia's maybe book show before the announcement. Mm -hmm. You'll be earning from Otilia's uh, realities. I don't know if you're a speech. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right. Um, maybe come up with a daily belief for the same appearance. We're very professional people, yeah? And we run the brand on a, in a professional capacity, so I'm not doing it. And as you can see, like I said, the split was going to happen a while back, mm -hmm. you understand? About, I think, March, when we came back from, from Germany. But these contracts that we had to see through that were still under my company, yeah? and including you know, the London Festival that was very successful. Yeah? So we had to give that all that time to you know to make sure everything is good. So Hamna Dele Kabisa and any contracts that are still valid will still remain valid. Understand? Yeah. Uh, another question is what makes uh, RKC different from other housing developers in Kenya? Uh, what makes RKC different from other music record level? Yeah. Um I can't really answer your question directly, yeah? Because that would mean I'm sort of trying to compare and compete. And for me, I, I, I really don't, I don't really compete, I don't compare. The only person that, you know, I try to compete with is, you know, the person I was yesterday, yeah? But I'll tell you for a fact, RKC is a solid record level. We have really, really great plans. Um, and how we're gonna build the record level? Because you see, I don't even know how other record labels operate. I've never worked for any other record label. I don't know the, you know, the mode of operation. So I can't even say, we do this different, they do this different. I can't, I can't really speak on that. But I just want people to know that RPC is a, is a very solid record label. And we, we have um, um, crazy, crazy resources and investments. And we're ready to take um, Kenyan music to the next level. That's for that. Maybe a last one. You worked with uh, Joe before. Sure. And I just love this. Maybe do you think you can bring that to a basic attack? Only time will tell. Only time will tell. <laughs> Only time will tell. But she's a, she's a phenomenal artist. Phenomenal. Yeah. And last, last one. Sure, sure. I, you, you mentioned that I still approached you. 
But when you look at the platform of the Telegram, I haven't seen any, maybe there is no that. So we haven't seen any collab opportunity. What could you say when the president of the East government to do a collab of Well, next thing we actually have two songs. The biggest song we actually have is you know, Bounce featuring the Yeah, that's the biggest. So they, they work together, you know, they have another song called Remedy, which you know, is still doing really, really amazing, yeah? So, yeah. so will they again do the collab on our team and the Tila is the past? There's no, there's no issue. If you look at, you know, um, you know, you know collaborations, are, I feel like they're very, you know, strategic um, projects that, you know, an artist and his management um, decide to undertake, yeah? So if ever there's a time and we feel like this project could, you know, suit Tile, we'll definitely, you know, reach out and, you know, and see, you know, the way forward. Because, you know, like I said, there's no issue, you know, between us. We still, you know, maintain our, you know, our friend, you know, our friendship. And if, if also you look at um, Nixon's, you know, EP, Love and Vibes EP, the project came out after we came back from, you know, from New York. And there's a song called Tonight. The video just came out like two weeks ago. Tile, uh, next to Terry, you know, Tile. Yeah. Thank you so much, Maria and the team. Sure, thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate it. God bless you.